If you want to get a favor done by some obliging friend, and want a promise safe and sure, on which you may depend, don't go to him who always has much leisure time to plan. If you want your favor done, just ask the busy man. The man with leisure never has a moment he can spare. He's always putting off until his friends are in despair. But he whose every waking hour is crowded full of work forgets the art of wasting time. He cannot stop to shirk. So when you want a favor done, and want it right away, go to the man who constantly works twenty hours a day. He'll find a moment somewhere that has no other use, and help you, while the idle man is framing an excuse. There's a four-letter word, as offensive as any. It holds back a few, puts a stop to the many. You can't climb that mountain. You can't cross the sea. You can't become anything you want to be. You can't hit a century. They can't find a cure. She can't think about leaving or searching for more. Because can't is a word, with the habit of stopping the ebb and the flow of ideas. It keeps dropping itself because in our hearts, we know it's not indeed. And saying "don't go" when we could have succeeded, but those four little letters that end with a T, they can change in an instant when shortened to three. We can take off the T. We can do it today. We can move forward, not back. We can find our way. We can build. We can run. We can follow the sun. We can push. We can pull. We can say, "I'm someone who refuses to believe life can't be better." With the removal of one insignificant letter.